Verizon's data formatting options provide instant visibility at first glance and allow for exception-driven management of your work. The Clarison display options and conditional formatting allow you to highlight important KPIs and focus your stakeholders' attention where it is most needed. Display options, including conditional formatting, are available for any field in all of your views, reports, and dashboards, and can be configured easily by the view or report creator, as well as by any user that views them. Let's see how it works. In the ACME organization, the PMO office tracks the yearly portfolio, and it's crucial for them to know if any of the projects are out of budget. So looking at their portfolio, you can see the actual cost field is red in cases where the budgeted cost of the project is less than the actual cost. The actual cost field is colored orange in cases where the actual cost is equal to the budgeted cost, indicating that although the project is on a budget, it cannot spend any more money and is therefore at risk. By leveraging the conditional formatting feature, the PMO can quickly identify which projects are out of budget by skimming the projects list and take the relevant actions on the colored items. In addition, we would like users to be able to easily and immediately understand the cost situation when reviewing their projects. As the project cost metrics are often large numbers, they are displayed in thousands in this view. Let's see how this was set up in the View Editor by opening the format display of the actual cost field. You can see two sections here. In the first section, the View Creator can configure exactly how to display the cost. In this case, the actual cost is set to be displayed in thousands. Currency display options allow you to set the abbreviated unit suffix for thousands, millions, or billions, the number of decimal places, and whether to show zero values. The settings in this section change according to the type of data in the field. For example, for a text field, you can set whether to wrap the text or not, and for a pick list field, you can set whether to show the data as an icon or text. In the second section, you can configure a set of rules to determine what formatting to apply on the field based on specific criteria. In this case, the conditional rule will compare the budgeted and actual costs and set the cell format to orange or red accordingly. Note that rules are evaluated according to their order, and the first rule that meets the criteria will determine the values format. You can control the order of the rules by dragging and dropping them in the order that you would like them to be evaluated. Let's add another condition to color the cell value in case the budget is on track by clicking on Add New Rule. The default field to compare is the field you are on, in this case, actual cost, but you can replace it with any other field on the item. Then you can choose the operator to use. In this case, let's choose less than and then select the field you want to compare. You can choose to compare the field to the relative value of a different field, in this case, to the budgeted cost field. Once the condition is set, you can use the format editor to set the format. You can set the cell text to be bold, italic, strike through, or set any text color and background color, as well as apply a CSS to set the format. Let's set the text color to green to indicate that the budget is on track. Now the new rule is ready. Clicking Save to save your changes on the view will show you the results immediately. You can see that the projects that are on budget have the actual costs values colored green. Updating any information on the view will automatically update the format of the cell according to the relevant rules. For example, if you change the budgeted cost to lower than the actual cost, it will be displayed in red once the update has been saved on the page. Configuring the formatting of fields can be set up by your administrators and shared with your users, and any user who has access to personalize a table can change the cell formatting to personalize it to their needs. You can do this by simply clicking on Manage Columns for any table and then configuring the format options from the pop-up window. The project budget is at risk not only when it's equal to the cost, but also if it's close to it. So let's format the cell to orange in case the actual cost is within 90% of the budgeted cost, and only if the project is not completed yet. This is a more complex condition that cannot be implemented using basic rule definition but will need to be configured using an advanced rule. Clicking on the advanced link will provide you with the full set of formula options available in the Clarison configuration platform, as well as the ability to add logical conditions such as AND or OR to the set of rules.
let's type in the more accurate rule in the first two conditions and click Save. You can see that the color coding was updated accordingly. Conditional formatting is available not only in the work plan, but for all module views and related panels of detailed views. You can also conditionally format fields in reports and dashboards, where you can set conditional formatting for the data points themselves, as well as for the summary data. Let's see an example of conditional formatting use in this Risks and Impact report, which ACME is using to track current risks across the organization. In this report, conditional formatting is used to highlight risks that are of higher critical importance and which have over 50% probability. In this case, conditional formatting is used to draw attention and focus the user on the most critical risks that have both high importance and high probability. To learn more about Clarison, be sure to check out the other tutorials available in our training center and our wiki help site. We also highly recommend signing up for one of our daily live beginner or advanced webinars, where one of our Clarison experts can answer any of your questions. If you haven't tried out Clarison yet, be sure to do so with our free 30-day trial. Thanks for your interest in Clarison. See you back soon.